Okay, folks, you might find this real interesting. Here's your watt meter that I have both my 12 volt power supply and my circuit connected to. Right now, nothing's working. The power, the 12 volt power supply is not working, neither is the circuit. But this is the input. This actually goes right to the wall, and then I have the 12 volt power supply plugged into this, and uh, from there on, then the circuit box is plugged into my 12 volt power supply. You'll see that in a minute. So, anyways, I'm going to turn just the 12 volt power supply on, and that will you will see that that is what's going to show the wattage that's being consumed by the power, 12 volt power supply itself, not the circuit, just the 12 volt power supply. Here we go. So I will do that right now. I'll show you that. Okay, that's on. Now, here we go. You can see it's anywhere between 2.9 and 3. So let's call it 2.95. That's your wattage. By the way, this meter, this watt meter is 0.2% accurate. That's how accurate it is. Okay. So now the next step would be, now that I just got the 12 volt power supply on, is to turn the circuit on. And the way I turn the circuit on is like this. I'm going to go over here and show you. All I do is oops, a little, little turn. There we go. We're going off and running now. Okay. Sometimes that baby doesn't start right away. But anyways, we'll, we'll go from there. So now we're back here again with a circuit on. I got 6.3 watts. You can subtract the two from each other and you find out just exactly what the circuit's using. By taking the first reading that you saw from this reading here, and that's exactly what the circuit is using in watts. Okay, you can do that yourself. You know how to subtract. That's very easy to do. So, what we're going to do now is look at this. I got two two meters here, two multimeters set up. The first one is a voltage, is measuring DC voltage. The second one here is going to be measuring milliamps. Okay, that's my amp meter. This voltmeter right here is measuring voltage. The volts, DC volts. Right now it's 34 volts. And the other one's milliamps. Measuring milliamps. There's my milliamp reading right now. It's going to get higher. In fact, both of these are going to get higher. So I'll just, I'll just play this out for a while. I'll show you what's going on. And there's a little bit of a wire hook up there. There ain't nothing. I don't have no other power sources feeding into this to come up with some bogus thing that's being projected on either meter. This is all I'm messing, messing with right now is the output from this electronic box. That's all I'm doing. It's DC coming out of that. DC output coming out of that box. And that's the only thing I'm messing with right now. The amp meter. Is connected in series with the circuit. The voltmeter is connected directly across the lamps, which are the load. It's directly across four lamps. Okay, the lamps are partially lit. So, looking at it, everything seems to be functioning okay. And I'm going to be waiting around to it. And I'll show you this again. I'm waiting for this to stabilize. This thing takes a little while and then it finally stabilizes and starts slowing down to show you exactly. And then there's my, uh, there's my thing, 6.3. That's your wattage of this whole thing working. That's uh, 12 volt power supply and this whole circuit functioning. That's what it's doing right now. Okay, so we're going to go up here. I got 34.25 volts. Showing 2.6, it's, it's going up. It, it takes a while. It does stabilize. It does it, it, it takes it takes a little bit of doing so, but it does stabilize. And this 232 point eight point nine is going to be 233 in a minute. Okay, so those things are that, that it's going to take a little while, like I said before. Get back here. That hasn't changed. 
6.3, 6 6.4, 6 so go to 6, 6 point, let's say call it 3.5. It's going up a little bit, 6.35. Okay. And let's go back here to these readings here. Let's see what we got here. Let's take it right about here. I got 34. 0.30 volts and 234.7 volts and it's falling up a little bit. Well, I'm waiting until we get 235, making a nice even number. There we go, 235 and it's 234.32 uh, volts. 34.32, 235.2. So, if you take your voltage times your current, you have to convert milliamps to amps, you're going to come up with power, right? Okay, watts. Now, you're going to be surprised to find out when you take those readings what they are in comparison to this reading right here. That's everything functioning and at the input, I'm inputting. Don't forget that, that's the input that you're looking at, to this whole thing. The output is right here. There's your output. Your voltage, your building apps. So, take this times this in amps, and you're going to come up with something that's going to be a little bit of a surprise, I think. And, uh, hope for comments, guys. So, that's all I got to show. Let me know what you think. Bye.